understanding our get your national id campaign in the context of the sudan and algeria uprisings long post but please read it bobby wine aina post jata de ku facebook page ye olwalero nga eri mwa makulu manji nyo nga edda mwe bibuzo binji nyo abantu bibaba debebuza nti wabanga mu seven ya controlling akachika akalonda wabanga mu seven ya zenga bobululu guarantee cheri wo nti akalute agenda kabba mu 2021 bobi waini agambye nti posti mpamvu na ebambi mujisome immediately ngenze nenji soma yo nane nji malako na yewe ngenze mu comment comment yemu ebadde singa ko ne likes abantu jiba sinzo kwagala kwa bajira bingeringa fani olya comment nze na gamba nti taina budde busoma obata sobola kusoma bintu biwanvu bwe bityo na yachi manyi nti omulama gwa kufuna national id yes abadde mutufu na yenga ino message Eli very important no ruecho sina cha amanyi nyo chengenda kuteka ko na hii mbade nja gala njiba somere mu chimu kuchimu yona imale yo nga chenja gala nti okusoma no kuuliriza okuuliriza kui nzo kubelela oku wangu ila nga mbade nkusaba uulirize osupra no kujisha ya ringa ni muno gosu bila nti teyaji somye sina chengenda kuungila ko cha amanyi nye ngeenda nyeenda jikusomera yona njimale yo bobi waini agambi dear friends i have seen a few comments on social media si Seemingly wondering how our call on the people to register as voters will read our nation of Museveni and Musevenism. Indeed, there are some comrades who have suggested that we should forget about 2021 and kick Museveni out of the power before the end of 2019, Algeria or Sudan style. These are legitimate voices and we completely respect the viewpoints. I am happy that despite the real or perceived difference in the strategy there is one constant all of us acknowledge that it is time for Museveni to go like all other despots before him to me agreeing on this fundamental point is very important let me use this opportunity to clarify on a few things to begin with we are not naive we are fully cognizant that Museveni has rigged the past elections with impunity there is no doubt whatsoever that similar attempts will be made during the next election. Only a few days ago, Kainda Otafire expressed clear lack of commitment on the part of government to implement electoral reforms as recommended by the Supreme Court after the 2016 election. We are even aware of plans by Museveni and his regime to amend laws so as to block our participation in the next election. Those who have cast doubt that an election will take place at at all in 2021 also have a point as we know ever since we massively defeated Museveni in Chadondo East, Jinja East, Bujiri Rukungiri and Arua he decided to illegally halt by all elections in the new constituencies because he could not contain the pressure caused by the wave as we speak because of the massive victories in the key guild elections in favor of people power several universities have been directed to disqualify people power candidates where they have been nominated the regime has deployed its cadres to bribe voters and interfere with the voting process we are therefore mindful of all these factors even as we call you on to register as voters what then is our strategy firstly we believe that the citizen of Uganda have a right and a duty at all times to defend the constitution of Uganda which Museveni has violated gated with impunity and amended contrary to its provisions it will be remembered that article 3 of the constitution bestows upon us as citizens the right and duty to do everything within our power to restore the constitutional order which has been violated at all times that's why we called upon you the people of Uganda to defend the constitution when it was raped in 2017 that is why we have persistently mobilized peaceful assemblies to rally the masses against civil violations at a personal level i have supported and continue to support any cause that is intended to bring down dictatorship in uganda that is why our team works every day to put an end on all injustices against our people from extortionist taxes unemployment etc putting an end to bad government is our business first and foremost in this regard 
said we are encouraged by the people of Algeria who in the past weeks forced a dictator to resign and the people of Sudan through peaceful protests forced a powerful despot to give way while we are aware that our brothers and sisters in those countries are yet to achieve full freedom after their efforts are being are being hijacked by those who wield guns we celebrate with them the victory of removing the biggest stumbling blocks in their path to freedom we are encouraged by their example that is possible for the most powerful despots to come tumbling down in the face of the people power on this point we are in agreement with our comrades in the struggle who believe that action should be taken now that is why we do not tear in strategizing mobilizing our people through various activities and making partnership these are all necessary towards empowering and raiding the people to do all in their power to defend the constitution we are on course but then the intelligent question to ask becomes what next if Museven fall today what would be the next step proper thing to do would be to demand for free and fair election within six months as required by article 109 of the constitution if you don't do this you end up with with revolution being hijacked like has happened in many cases and as we see presently in Sudan but then how would we participate in those elections within six months if the citizens do not register to vote even if we want to set up a transitional government it should be born out of democratic process those who fold the last elections in Zimbabwe understand what we are talking about therefore this is the first point the second point requires that we reflect on a few past happenings we should all recall that dictators fall in different ways the constant is that all of them eventually fall i am sure that president museveni seeing what has happened to his counterparts who were even stronger more manipulative and wiser than him is aware of the catastrophe that awaits him if he does not restrain himself dictators don't fall in the same way what we have learned in the past is that some fall through popular uprisings before elections Algeria, Sudan, Burkina Faso, etc. During or after elections, Ivory Coast, Gambia, Mali, Zambia, foreign intervention, Libya, national causes, Guinea-Bissau, or even through controversial welfare. A few who are wise enough to read the signs and hand over power peacefully, Angola, the sparks are usually different. The means and circumstances are usually different. The aftermath is usually different. The constant is only every dictator will certainly fall we have taken time to study what has gone on in the past we have many times focused on on talking seven out before the election period several campaigns have been made in this regard i will not list all of them here but they have only been successful in exposing Museveni and building momentum for for his imminent fall however for one reason and another we have not yet succeeded in the major objectives we shall discuss these reasons and another time and Museven should never take our past failures as a source of comfort for him every day is not a Sunday when we have not succeeded we, we even go for elections the same leaders who have discouraged elections decided to participate in those elections the same leaders who have made it clear that Museven cannot go by the ballot paper actually nominate as candidates that appear on the ballot many in the population which has been told that an election cannot work decide shun the election process thus explaining the millions who stay away on an election day moreover we go into these elections when we are not fully prepared for them we participate in them as a ritual for the past elections the forces of change have failed to achieve unity which we all agree would do magic we end up without a clear strategy to protect the votes the population is not prepared enough to reject a rigged election in any case elections we are discouraged in the first place therefore this is our point to departure from our friends who are discouraging our campaign to have our citizen register as voters even as we work with other measures i persuaded beyond doubt that comrade dr kizabesije has won the last two elections in the past and was rigged but i also know that the win was not as decisive as it ought to be if we confronted the this spot as a more united and prepared friend.
front because of the weakness i have highlighted the citizen have not been able to come out and assert their sovereignty and claim their victory for example dr kiza pesige has indicated several times that he won with 52 percent in the last election according to the tally he put in place i believe however that if a lot more had been done two or three years prior to the election to unite the opposition call upon citizen to register rally them to vote etc the victory would have been much higher and therefore more difficult to temper with for example in 2016 close to 5 million registered voters stayed away from the polls many more adults ugandans did not even bother to register in the first place why probably because they have been discouraged by the forces of change from having any confidence in the process we must remember that dictators are better dealt with if defeated by a knockout comrades we should do everything possible to defend the constitution and restore constitutional governance in our country adding to what i have been doing we shall intensify our efforts working with all forces of change if we succeed before the election like algeria or sudan have the better for our country but let us not lose sight in the constitutional and internationally recognized opportunity that we shall have in 2021 we cannot afford not to prepare for an election and then decide to participate when the population has been turned away from the process the lessons of the past 20 years should have made this clear to us we can overwhelm Museveni in an election organized by his own electoral commission it happened in ivory coast it happened in gambia and many other examples should Museveni manipulate the laws and try to stop or extend the election or even prevent us from participating that will be another conversation and we shall awaken the people of uganda to do the needful for now i call upon all of you to register and get your national ids power to the millions of you who have responded to our call we are making this case to all comrades in the struggle we hope to persuade them to see our viewpoint because we believe that we are stronger when all of us are on the same page a people united shall never be defeated your brother and comrade in struggle honorable chagulanyi center mu bobby wine people power our power njagala nyo kuongera kweno post njagala nyo kuongera ko mbanyonyole abaina chibata tegedde na yensu vila post mpamvu nyo abasinga temugenda kutuka yeno wabula ngenda kola vidi yendala eri shota nga yona eri muluganda njagala wobo mali wobo tu sengo uliga bino bienjo gira webale nyo sheyali nga na ngenda kola vidi yendala muluganda egendo kusamaraizinga paragrafu obwe gendo kusamaraizinga sentence eno yona abata tegedde basobolo kutegira funenda gamuntu peace